about this, E3's been a bit of a disappointment if you ask me. I mean, three conferences gone, three more to go. Wow. I'm actually a bit upset with what we've got. I mean, it's been very, very average. I thought we were going to get better, to be honest. I mean, EA's was, you know, average to good at best a few times. I mean, Microsoft wasn't that much better. I mean, better, yeah, but not that great. I mean, apart from Scorpio and Gears of War 4, nothing really interested me. And I mean, don't even get me started on Bethesda. Like, Bethesda's... I haven't even watched Bethesda's. There's no point. I've All I've heard is bad things about Bethesda's. I mean, what's wrong with E3 this year? I don't get it. I don't get why this E3 has been really, really disappointing so far. I mean, last year's E3 was so good. I mean, Bethesda almost stole the show at E3 with their conference. Like, their conference was amazing. And then they come back this year, and it's so disappointing. I don't get why all these conferences have been such letdowns. I mean... But let's just go through it. EA. What did EA show that interested me? They should have Titanfall 2. I might or might not get that. I don't really know. Don't Probably won't get it. FIFA 17 looks good what they're doing with Journey. Um, gameplay bullshit that they always go on about that they've improved every year. Don't really care about that. Um, really the only talking point for the EA one for actual stuff we got to gameplay for was probably Battlefield 1. I mean that game just looks awesome on its own. But at the end of the conference... And we got such a small trailer for it and like then we got like 45 minutes of gameplay of celebrities playing the game because you know these celebrities like EA say are quote unquote gamers like us I don't think so not one bit that conference was probably like a 5.5 out of 10 very disappointing I mean better than maybe some of the other EA press conferences we've had before and but still nothing exceptional uh, Bethesda's from the stuff they announced. I mean, they announced uh, re re-announced, sorry, uh, P Prey 2. I don't know. They also said that they're going to be doing a uh, Skyrim remaster, of, essentially for PS4 and Xbox One. Um, I mean, they showed off a bit more of Dishonored 2. I mean, all this stuff looks good, but the problem is that most of it was like CGI trailers. I think it was only for like Dishonored that we actually got actual gameplay for, which. I'm just really disappointed by it. I mean, I expected more than just CGI trailers. I mean, you can come up with CGI trailers at any time. Most of the well, gameplay demos, they should be reserved for E3. So, yeah, I was very, very disappointed by what we ended up getting into comparison to what we thought we were going to get. Um, and then we go on to Microsoft. I mean, I already said, like, the only two parts of the Microsoft press conference that had me engaged were... Gears of War 4, because obviously, Gears of War, I'm a fan of the series. Of, I mean, from what I've played of them, I like the games. I mean, 1 and 2 were great. 3 was a bit of a disappointment, but I still liked it. So, 4 has me excited. Um, and, of course, they announced uh, the Xbox Scorpio, officially, at the end of the conference. It's going to be coming holiday 2017. It looks good, but when you consider that... Pretty much all of the games at Microsoft's press conference were not Xbox exclusives because they're coming out on Xbox One and the PC. Well done, well done. That that I'm pretty sure Microsoft gets the point of exclusivity here. Only available on one platform, not two. Like, I'm sorry, but they're completely devaluing the Xbox One, either that or they're just giving up on the console wars because of the sales, which just disappoints me. I like to have competition. It's just like Microsoft aren't even bothering anymore. So they're just, they're just like, we can't win this. So let's just put all the games on both but both, pl both platforms because you know, we're probably gonna lose anyway. That's just a disappointment. I mean, the entirety of the Xbox E3 press conference was pretty much just like a teaser for the PC gaming show essentially because most of the games you could get on PC anyway so why the fuck would you get an Xbox One when you can get a PC and they all run better but I mean to sum it all up from the e first half of the E3 stuff we've seen so far 
Very disappointing. Please, Ubisoft and Sony, save us. Hell, maybe even Nintendo can save us. I can't believe I'm saying that. And maybe even the PC Gaming Show. We never know, but... I'm out. Please, Sony, Ubisoft, please, please just save us. For our sakes. I'm out. Peace.